Hey y'all, I'm gonna be real guys. Minecon went way better than I expected. I honestly expected that mountains would be a small update, kind of like 1.15 was with the bees, and that something major like an end update would be shown off for next year. However, we are living in the best timeline. The cave update is finally happening. No longer are our memes going to be dreams. This was by far the most wanted community suggestion, and I've even made a video about it before discussing the cave update on my own channel and what I wanted to see. And guess what? Most of my desires were fulfilled and the caves exceeded my expectations. Copper was one of the requested ores that I wanted, and bam, we got copper. That's hype. The telescope isn't something that I could have predicted. Like, I thought copper was going to be more redstone based, like for redstone, but I guarantee that the telescope is going to be fun to use. The lush caves is actually exactly what I had in mind. The new foliage to come out of it is incredible, and it'll be really useful for decorating your builds and like the houses that you put out, or like the gardens. Uh, outside of your mansions. It'll also be really good for houses too. The Axetol mob, I don't really even know how to pronounce it, but apparently it's a real world animal. Uh, but they were unexpected, but the fact that they fight guardians is just awesome. Ocean monuments have always been an iffy part of the game for me. Like I really like them because they're unique uh, structures and they present a unique challenge by fighting the elder guardians. But they're not always the most fun thing to tackle because they are underwater and you have the mining fatigue. However, the Axetols on your side um, improves this old feature, which is great. I haven't even mentioned the Warden, a new hostile mob that looks even harder than the Ravager in terms of health. And the whole like deep dark kind of area just looks really incredible and seems like it's going to be really fun. How because the Warden can't see you, it just picks up on your sound. The caves are, they just look incredible and it's going to be really awesome. It kind of sucks that the Isolager didn't win the mob vote, uh, but the cave update more than well makes up for it. Uh, this definitely blew my socks off, you know, metaphorically. Um, I'm definitely going to be starting a new survival world here on the channel. I honestly can't wait. I've kind of fallen off the Minecraft hype recently. Like, the Nether update got me really excited, and then I was playing it a lot. And then I've kind of fallen off recently, but this has kind of pretty much re-hyped me up for the game. So, stay tuned for more news on Minecraft and other things gaming, and I'll see you guys around.